So we're back, we're going towards the canton at this point. So it's from, you wanna look and check on the map. This is Crown Plaza in Asheville, North Carolina. And we're going towards canton. I'm gonna do a few roads around there. Now again, waypoints would be really awesome here because to stay off the interstate, we're having to navigate to several points in between to keep it from getting on the interstate to go that way. Okay, right here we're good to turn. Oh, no, now we're not. So this was really difficult last time. Um, I'm gonna make it go. Okay. So last time I actually wanted to stay left and it took this exit. I think we're taking this exit, right? We were staying to the right. Yeah. Last time I wanted to stay left and it took this exit. It made me so mad. Um, because it was supposed to go there and I messed up the entire thing. Um, but here, um, these lights, and it was going to do a U-turn, that car just did a U-turn up there, it completely failed to do that U-turn. That's a tough spot because if you're going to do a U-turn there, you've got to go across all three lanes immediately into that left turn lane. Well, it had the best advantage that their light was red, so it had no traffic though. So it just didn't get across the lanes. It went into the into the straight lane, and it still wanted to do the U-turn, even though it was in the straight lane. So, and then it failed again at the next intersection when I, I had to take over and do it. But it it can do U-turns. It's just not very good at it yet. We are ready to go. With this much traffic, it needs to do it sooner. Like it has a good spot to get over right now. It says upcoming lane change. I really should have got over in front of this truck. Now when this truck passes on my left, it should try and get over, in my opinion. And then it's speeding up. <laughs> so it should get over right here is where it should get up. There it goes, okay. Thought that car was going into my lane. It's not supposed to get in this lane, is it? Um, yeah, this is a right turn on my lane. That's why this is a continuous road, but I just wanted it on the map saying a right turn. probably regularly use autopilot right here. Yeah. Probably not the same not driving, but I wonder if you can tell if it's any smoother or less smooth or anything like that. It does pretty well through here. Obviously, you know, you have to confirm every light. Now, am I remembering wrong? Did they not have an update where it would go through lights if it was confident? Did they pull that back? Um don't remember it definitely would go if there was a car yeah it, still, it follows a car but I thought one update maybe it never went wide release I'm not sure sorry it's gonna hit that curb so that was definitely a um, disengagement there yeah my car wants to do that too is it really yeah okay I guess just they the it's vision because the, they, yeah. They're not straight. I don't know why they're built like that. But either way, no matter how it's built, it should know where the curb is. So definitely um, braked far too aggressively for that, and then I tried and compensated, and then it jerked really, really poorly. 
So that right there is because we um, forgot to reroute it, but we're just gonna go so it doesn't freak out. Doesn't help I have my mouth full of food, but um, that yellow light should have slowed down a little bit sooner though. Would you say that's better or same or worse than your car so it's about the same about the same yeah so it must have, it must have improved on the wide release because it used to just jam on the um, brakes like last minute for lights so it must have must have improved okay so it needs to turn on in this lane but it's not going to turn on the blinker it's just going to kind of swerve i'm going to turn on the blinker and record it we might get some heavy rain to test in as well. Oh, it is raining. Right there. By the highway, it's all backed up. It's an edge case, and it's not going to go around the sky, I don't think. Less the edge case, more of. You do see them around. Or it just, it just doesn't know what to do. So, I'm gonna actually take over. Go around this car. This is what my car should have done. Now we got to see some heavy rain as well. I don't know if I've done. Once we did heavy rain, it just didn't last very long. So I got in the wrong lane there. I manually changed lanes. Ooh, so it lost sight of that lane line there. Trouble seeing the lines now. Yeah, this will be pretty interesting uh, with the raining this hard to see how well it does on the roads I'm talking about. Uh, if it has issues, I would blame it on the rain. Yeah, this is, um, Oh, I did that. I disengaged because I couldn't see anything. I wanted to repeat this clip a little bit closer. I'm about to hit a large uh, puddle of water right here. Notice how it starts covering up the entire windshield? I could not see, so I disabled autopilot and the visualization changes. Notice how as soon as I re enable it, and the fact I could re enable it, that it showed up right away. Notice also if you replay that again, the oncoming car does not disappear in the visualization. So the early Model 3s like mine had issues. Oh, slow down right here. Yeah. Had issues. <laughs> With the bumpers falling off in this type of weather. Uh, there's just a clip that needs to be fixed. I don't know if mine is, is in that series or not. But this is obviously a good, um, good test of heavy rain. And besides a few scenarios where it kind of missed the line, it did a good job. Um, I think it was going to plow through that spot where the entire windshield got covered. 
and and um I got scared and slowed down because I stopped being able to see. So I should have been going slower to be honest in those conditions. But the car also needs to detect that and slow down as well. That got really close to that wall. Alright, so right up here is another pretty blind turn. Um, they really shouldn't put these bushes and sign right up against the road here. So, I mean, you can kind of see beyond it. You can't see anything to the right at all. Even a person can't. If you're in a big SUV, you can see probably, but um, yeah, that's blind. Nope. Mike, <laughs> you missed the car coming. That car had just passed. My car did not see it all, so I had to intervene. Um, so that's what we're talking about from this blind corner with the V-pillar, not seeing it. Yeah. Okay, so I accidentally intervened there because uh, of the bump. Or disengage, rather. Okay, cancel So we're gonna pause here real quick. I think once we're done... Okay. Um, that um, did not turn enough there. But um, once we're done at this route, uh, that's going to be the end of this video. This had a good test of heavy rain and it did surprisingly well. Uh, with vision only, of course. Uh, I didn't even jam on the brakes like I did. Um, it was just going to plow for the rain and or, or the water. And so. It's doing a great job so far. We're going to do a separate video after this one full of just Canton and the surrounding area. Uh, this is, it has a lot of unique roads, of course, being in the mountains uh, in this area. So it'll be very interesting to see how that functions. All right, so this curve up ahead is one that regular autopilot cannot do. It fails every time it goes from the right lane into the left lane while it's in the curve. And as you can see, it's a completely blind curve. It's almost 90 degree, maybe even more. Um, and there's a big slow, hill. Slow down um, enough. And it just cannot see, but FSD did it perfectly. Yeah, I don't, it's Every time issue. I go through that curve, it goes into the left lane. And so just to be clear, everyone, that was with, that's with normal autopilot production yeah. build. So full self driving is able to do that just fine. This is the first time I've ever driven it, but Mike is um, very familiar with this area. And that's even with rain on the road, so the, the lines aren't as clear. Yeah, it makes it even more difficult of a challenge. This is obviously right here, it's not very hard, but. We're gonna about to make a left turn and then. We got a light. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and end the video here. There's not too much left um, of this. But um, if you guys have any questions about the rain performance, I would like to hear what you think about what you saw in this that area and just overall performance so far on this drive. I know the first half is pretty boring. It's going to be sped up a lot, but I appreciate everyone watching as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.